Hi everyone. Hi everyone and welcome to this session on uh, the University of Copenhagen. So the University of Copenhagen is uh, in Copenhagen of course in Denmark. It was founded in 1479. It currently has 9,405 members of staff and 37,493 students. So the location you can see on the red dot there, it's Scandinavia, so it's northeast Europe. It's got really good travel links to the rest of the continent. It's next to Germany and it's also home to the Orisund Bridge, uh, which connects Denmark and Sweden. It's a very famous bridge. So Copenhagen itself is the capital city of Denmark, which is the world's happiest nation. It's home to the likes of the Little Mermaid statue, to Tivoli Gardens, which has a theme park there. Emilienborg Palace, which is the home of the royal family, and Copenhagen Zoo. It's got lots of cosy cafes and restaurants, a vibrant shopping area. It has lots of waterways and you can get boat tours around the waterways. And it also has a selection of Christmas markets as well. And here's just some pictures to get an idea of what Copenhagen looks like. So in terms of who can go to Copenhagen and when, um, if you study English literature, you can go in your second year of, in semester one. If you study film studies, then you can go in your second year in either semester one or semester two. And if you study media, you can go in your second year, either semester one, semester two or for the full year. So why pick the University of Copenhagen? Well, it's rated as the seventh best university in Europe. It has nine Nobel laureates, so nine Nobel prize winners have been there. It has four different campuses, it has 10 museums and research gardens. It's a world-class research university and it's the largest edu educational institution in Denmark. And it can really give you a new academic perspective. So there's a number of courses available to students studying there. We've got more information on our website here and also on the Men Study Abroad website pages. For housing, there's the Housing Foundation, which is an independent organisation and that assists international students in finding accommodation in Copenhagen. Now, for more information about housing options, how to apply, practical information regarding your arrival and stay, you can again visit their website and they will tell you more. And lastly, if you go to Copenhagen, it will be a now this is a scheme set up so that you can get a certain amount of money each month and um, which is payable 80% at the beginning and 20% at the end and this is to help you with living costs. So for Denmark because it's a more expensive country you get the higher rate so that's 420 euros per month and that's for all study abroad and exchange students regardless of your home income. You can get an additional 120 euros a month if you're from a disadvantaged background and there's also an, addition, an additional Erasmus Plus special needs grant, which is available if you've got a disability or special needs, and that can really help you to take part in something that perhaps would have been more difficult otherwise. So we hope you enjoyed this short presentation on Copenhagen. If you have any more questions, please send them through to study abroad team, which is studyabroad at yorksj.ac.uk, and we'll answer those for you. Thank you very much.